This is Rebecca Jarvis. Just off the coast of Wisconsin, across a choppy stretch of Lake Michigan called Death's Door Passage, sits Washington Island, home to about 660 residents and a lot of these. Junipers are indigenous to this area, and I would say that most of the island has some junipers uh, somewhere on the properties. Ronald Dutch is an agricultural scientist who's intent on putting the aromatic junipers to good use. Inside the berry is the essential oil that's used for medicinal purposes and is used as a botanical to flavor gin. More specifically, they're the key ingredient in Death's Door Gin. Distillery owner Brian Ellison uses hundreds of pounds of fresh Washington Island juniper berries to flavor his award-winning spirit. The main components of our gin, wheat and barley, is the base of the, of the distillate itself. And then for the botanicals that go in the gin, it's juniper, coriander, and fennel. With his gleaming copper still, Ellison and Death Store Gin are at the forefront of a gin revival. There are 170 gins sold in the United States. There were four when I started teaching about gin in the late 1980s. Steve Olson is a cocktail historian in New York City. The word gin comes from the word yenefra, which literally in Dutch means juniper, because gin, by definition, is supposed to be a juniper-flavored beverage. As early as the 13th century, the Dutch were infusing spirits with juniper into a liquor called Yenever, which by the 1700s had made its way to England, where gin, as it became known, was the drink of the masses. The gin of the time was twice as potent as its modern counterpart, and often consumed by the pintful. The spirit was quickly demonized, blamed for the plight of the underclass, and almost outlawed. At this time period, the death rate exceeds the birth rate in London. This is terrible. People are dying. They're dying, and, and it's attributed to alcohol. But today, gin is getting its good name back. What would you say is the highest point in history for gin? I would say that we are at this point right now on the precipice of the most exciting time of gin and of cocktails in general. Brian Ellison agrees. Is it cool to drink gin right now? Yeah, I guess the cool kids are ordering gin. <laughs> cool as the chilly breeze off Washington Island.